I would like to share with you five excellent places to get comprehension resources online. We're going to start with my Pinterest board, um, but not just my Pinterest board. Go into Pinterest right up in the search box and type in reading comprehension and you will find way too many resources, but that's where you can begin for your pin board this week. You scroll down through mine, I have 40 pins on my board and lots of printable activities, lots of posters, lots of informational uh, websites. So check that out. The Florida Council for Reading Research, uh, we've been here before, but this is their direct link to comprehension. And these are activities that um, are to develop comprehension skills in mini lessons. And there's a, there's a huge number just scrolling down through quickly and you can see some of them are things that you can just print uh, some of them go with any book that you would choose they don't go with a specific book so check that out reading rockets has a great page for you as pre-service teachers because it gives you um, if we scroll down here articles on all of comprehension tips for comprehension with our English language learners Classroom strategies, these are going to be activities you can use for reading comprehension. And if you click on see all classroom strategies, it will give you even more. And all reading comprehension articles, articles will give you more. So this is that information page. And although it has activities, um, it also tells you just about comprehension and the things that I've discussed if you need some more depth. Also a strength is there are videos to support pretty much everything on here. So if you're stuck, go here. One of the things that I haven't specifically shared with you, um, but I think you may have gathered by watching all the videos of the areas of comprehension, you must use literature to teach comprehension because it is reading comprehension. So you're always going to be using a book when you're doing comprehension activities. This is a list of reading mentor texts. And a mentor text is a piece of authentic quality literature that you can use to teach a specific skill. It means that it was not written for this purpose. It's not contrived, but it's a book that has a really strong area of comprehension in it. And so you can see there's picture books for making connections. There's picture books for visualization, important ideas, asking questions, doing inferring, synthesizing. And then it gives you a little reminder at the bottom of what questions or what skills are required of each of those areas. Uh, there's other websites similar to this, but this is just a nice inclusive one for you. And the last website is one that I found probably the most valuable in the area of comprehension, and it's called Into the Book. It's put out there by Wisconsin's uh, Media Lab for Wisconsin teachers. I have you in the teaching tools part of this video, but there is a student area as well and professional learning area that are very valuable also. But for each of our reading resources, it has a page. It defines it for you. It gives you activities. It gives you lessons. It gives you books to use. You know, so just like our last one, it has the complete book list. Um, it also gives you videos. Some of the videos I shared with you were uh, clipped from here. I do have their permission. <laughs> and uh, it gives you posters that you can use with your st students and they also translate them in Spanish and Hmong. So for our English language learners, that's awesome. And it has a song for each one. I'll play just a clip for you. So this is using prior knowledge. Let's go into the So, and then the lyrics to the songs are right here. So if you wanted to use these with, with students when you introduce a strategy, this was the strategy of prior knowledge and it went right along with the song. And I've used these with students and they do like them. They're, they sound a little cheesy, but um, they do like them a lot. So these are some great resources for you online. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you 
to go into the slide. Well, you're viewing the slide that you're on has five links at the bottom. One link will take you to each of these five places. I'd like you to view all of them and you don't have to spend a huge amount of time on them, but view all of them. And then I, there's also a link on the slide to take you to a Padlet board where you're going to share uh, something that you learned about comprehension that was new, whether it be an activity, uh, a book, a skill, a component, but something you learned from these websites. And just note on the Padlet card what website that you got your information from. Okay, have fun. This is where you get to explore.